Hello everyone and welcome to what I am calling the Dream Machine. This is a new PC build. Well, I say build. I bought this PC secondhand from eBay. It cost me 200 quid. Now, it's not a bad little gaming system. It was built as a gaming system, but it was a fairly, fairly cheap uh, gaming system. I stole it. It was the only bidder to... Uh, for this one. Now what I'm going to use this for is we're going to use this for primarily for live streaming as a secondary PC to live stream to. As you can see it's running Windows 10. Uh, we'll go over the uh, specs of the PC. If I ever get that to run. There we go. It's running. CPU Z is running. So it is a Core i5 3330. Uh, quite a low end Core i5. You can see here's an Ivy Bridge. Core i5, it is 3 gigahertz as its clock speed, uh, I think it's it has underclocked itself right now, 4 cores, 4 threads of course, uh, nice little CPU for the money, it's not a K series but it's quite a capable little CPU, certainly for what I want to do with it, the idea is I just want to have one bot to do everything, because I own a lot of retro consoles and I have a lot of uh, TV boxes, I've got a now TV box, I have an Android box. So the goal of this project, if you will, is to run just one thing, you know, at one box that can do everything. It's quite a big case, it has a Corsair case, which is quite nice. Now this i5, as you can see here, it's an older i5, uh, sitting at 3 gigahertz. Not overclockable. I think we can overclock some. You can overclock to some degree the non-K CPUs. I'll have a look at the the motherboard. It has a nice uh, Asus motherboard. We'll take a look at that. It's an Asus P. What is it? P A H seventy eight seventy seven V. Um, it's all right. It's got uh, Crossfire support in it, so that's pretty decent. Uh, the memory it has. 8 gigabytes of DDR3. It's only clocked at 1333 megahertz. Could be an issue. Really want 1600 plus as a as a uh, as a gaming PC. It has two slots. It runs in dual channel. It's got two 4 gigabytes Corsair. It's Corsair value RAM. Uh, again, not the best really if we're honest we'll take a look at the graphics card take a look at that in gpu z the graphics card is a little bit of a letdown okay it is an hd 7770 it is the gigahertz edition what lets it down is the fact that it only has one gigabyte of memory okay that is a letdown for modern games now you can get away with some games on one gigabyte Really, two gigabytes is kind of the minimum these days that you want to get away with. Other than that, it's not a bad little GPU. I did look up the price of this GPU. You can buy it secondhand. Uh, I saw it in CEX, which is a store, like a secondhand electronic store in the UK. Uh, £35 for not the same one as this one. This is a Sapphire. Sapphire one, I'll show you the uh, exact one if we hit the look up button on GPU Z. There it is, the Sapphire HD 7770. We've got a i5 3330 and an HD 7770. So, like repeating numbers three times, <laughs> that's that's a theme going on with this. That is the card. Uh, it's not a bad little card. Uh, the only thing that just lets it down, there is a 2 gigabyte version of it, but that goes on eBay for about 50, 60 pounds. Uh, so this card, at 1 gigabyte, 30 to 50 pounds, which is, you know, we're going to see what it plays. We'll have a look at it and we're going to test this to, we'll test this to destruction here. Uh, I did upgrade to Windows 10. Uh, I've got Steam installed, so we're going to have some fun with Steam, if all else fails, it doesn't play anything. Uh, what we can do is we can always emu We can always use the streaming uh, for Steam. That's always an option uh, with this card. So I'm quite pleased with it. I mean, it was quite dusty. It needed a good clean. I had to strip out the CPU. I had to strip down the GPU and give it a good clean. But other than that, 
everything works. I might show you some. We'll show you some screenshots. I might do a video actually of uh, of the inside of it. It's pretty decent. It's got the stock Intel cooler, but again, it's not an overclocker. So um, that what I want this for is I want it to do emulation. We want to run. See if it run GameCube games. See if it run some PS2 games. Uh, it's got an i5. It is the low end i5. The good thing is it's got an LGA. 1151 socket motherboard so if we wanted to we could buy an i7 we could buy like a 2600k core i7 overclock the shit out of it really <laughs> it really we could if we wanted to buy something like that second hand those i7s go for around i think between 100 and 150 pounds if you're lucky so, you know, we could certainly, it is an option for us to upgrade the CPU. We could, of course, buy, I think it's the 30, was it, 3570K as well, the Core i5. That's another option against another overclocker. They're around, I think, £120 on eBay secondhand. So, plenty of options with that one, because it'll take an i3, an i5, or an i7. That's the good thing about those, those Intel boards. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to install Kodi. On it certainly uh, we're gonna run things like Netflix I'm just fed up with having all these boxes and all these different things I want one box to run everything that is the plan can it run modern games it'd be a bonus if it did uh, but we can always use the uh, Steam streaming service and run from our current gaming PC anyway that is all for this video so videos coming up will show you some of what it can run downloaded Fallout 4 but I haven't ran it yet so we'll see how Fallout 4 runs on one gigabyte of VRAM. Uh, will it run? I don't know. Uh, I downloaded Killer Instinct as well from the Microsoft Store. Uh, doesn't give you a frame rate and there's no way to measure the frame rate uh, but it does run. Okay. Um, runs on low settings at 1080p uh, or sort of high-ish high settings at 900p so that's not so bad i'll do a little uh, video of killer instinct anyway that is all for this video so thank you for joining me and we'll see you again soon and goodbye